They say bowling is a dying sport. A dying sport. <laughs> I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. BowlerX.com for the love of bowling. What's happening, y'all? JR Raymond back again, coming to you from BowlerX Pro Shop. Just kidding. I'm at home. I almost thought I was at the shop. I need to be going to the shop pretty soon. But I'm at home. But I want to talk to you real quick about the house shot versus the sports shot. I'm going to show you the differences and kind of explain to you, or I'm going to try to explain to you a little bit of what you should be doing on a house shot versus what you should be doing on a sports shot, or exactly why scores are higher on a house shot versus a sports shot. So let me get this out of the way so you can see what's going on here. On the left here, you can see it's the typical house shot. You got all that oil. Think of the darker uh, boards there. Think of the darkness being more and more oil, okay? And then the light being dry. So on the left lane over here, you can see a big wall in the middle. Uh, and that, that's why they call it the wall. It's the, the Great Wall of China because they put literally a strip from basically um, 10 to 10, from the 10 board almost, all the way to the 10 board on the other side of just oil. So, uh, and then on the outside, you see nothing but dry boards. Now, there is a little bit of oil. On most lead conditions, you'll see some oil. They'll blend it a little bit to where at least you can get the ball through the front in here. But on a lot of them, I'm starting to see they literally are only oiling from about 10 to 10, and they're leaving the rest dry. You know, so it's, it, it's super over under ball reaction. But bowlers like this and you start to get to see a lot of people who you know they start to play right around this part of the lane so they can throw it right into that dry right on the edge of that dry board if they miss to the left you got the oil in here to make it hold line so if, if you know if you if you miss to the left it still holds its line and it gets all the way through there into the pocket and if you miss to the right you, you come over oop, that big 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 banger yeah as i miss to the left or as I move this to the left, you can see it hooks more because it hits the dry, right? So that's the whole idea behind the dry boards. If I miss to the right, it comes back from the dry boards. If I miss to the left, there's oil in the middle that causes the ball to sit there uh, into the pocket. So that's really why the house shot is so easy. Anybody with any type of rev rate can have success on this type of pattern. You really don't need a whole lot of accuracy. You've just got to get the ball going in the right direction with a little bit of rotation. And as long as you get it within, I would say, within five to seven boards, you know, you can you can pretty much hit the pocket almost every shot. Some houses are different. Some houses don't do it as dramatic as this, and some do. But when it comes to the pattern on the right over here, this is more typical sport pattern. This is where it's flatter. You only see that high volume in the very front, and that's just to create a ramp so your ball scoots through the front a little bit. and the, So that way the pattern holds up a little bit. But then you see the taper. You see it taper off by the end, um, and then it's pretty much just just brushing the lane basically it's just buffing uh, the back part of the lane you're really only applying the oil to the front part and then in, it's basically moving it all the way it's pushing it down the lane um, so with this you see all the light boards in here the entire front part you know after the arrows all this is basically friction now there is a little bit of oil there but it's friction and it's pretty flat all the way across so when you come over here if you're trying to throw the ball over here like this to the right the ball's not going to hook that much the ball's actually going to hang over there a little bit how did i do that before that was actually kind of cool how i did that before i'm not sure how i did it let me try to see here uh, just change the angle this actually there we go yep so that's how we did it all right so when you try to um, play inside here and you start to move your angle out you can see the ball's not going to hook right so you got hang over here to the right and what people don't notice is because there's there's oil all the way across the lane even though it is pretty much it looks like the dry boards over here all this oil on the front is what makes all this oil to the outside look that much even. It, look, it makes it react as if there's a ton of oil over there. So most times at this point, let me get this lined up straighter. At this point, right about in this area on most sport patterns is where you'll see the most hang. 
So right up in here, like right of five, sometimes even like right of seven, there's the most hang. So if you get the ball right of that line right there, the ball's going to hang and it's never going to get back from over here. So then you have to shut it down. And what a lot of people try to do is they try to move their angle this way and close it down. But now you're throwing it right to left. If you miss left, you're throwing it into all the dry and it's going to overhook. And if you miss it to the right, it's it's still going to over. It's not going to hook. It's going to hit that hang spot still. So now you're getting it going up the lane right here to the outside and it's going to hang and you're going to hit the three pin in the face. On some of these flatter patterns the tendency for a lot of guys is to move to the inside part of the lane faster and try to play a deeper angle here i'm trying to just give you the a vision here a little bit of a vision that you can see Oop, moving the board so that way you can see kind of a, the idea you're playing a tighter angle in here right from 20 or so to where you're not throwing it as far right. So where's that one get? That never gets right of, let's call it 10. It's probably not even as far as that. But if we were to really break this down, you'd probably get this to, to go a little bit further over there to like 10 or so, right? So it gets a little bit further to the right, but you don't want to get it much further right than that. So basically, essentially, what we're trying to say is there's no room for error on the, on the flat pattern, on the sport pattern. If you miss left, the ball's going to hook. If you miss right, the ball's going to hang. There's just too much oil to the outside, not enough oil on the inside. It's basically the reverse of what you see over here. You see less oil on the inside, and you see more towards the outside. So this would be like what they call a reverse block versus a block pattern. So I hope that helps y'all. Kind of, and we'll kind of. I'll, I'll get into this a little bit better once I figure out what the hell I'm doing with this thing, so I can see how to move things a little bit easier. But we'll get into lane play and some of that stuff too. Um, and then we're going to be getting into the academy where I'm going to really go into depth on a lot of this stuff and show you exactly how things work in the LTC uh, academy, uh, bowling academy. That's going to be coming up probably at the first of the year. We're going to have that going with the new app um, and. A uh, whole bunch of features and everything there. So be on the lookout for that. But that's all I have for you today. I just want to talk a little bit about the house shot versus the sport shot. Just to give you a little bit of a visualization there. Um, but I'm going to get out of here. And I will see you guys probably tomorrow. They say bowling is a dying sport. A dying sport. <laughs> I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. BowlerX.com for the love of bowling.